Ah, uh, apologize. I haven't been recording or posting much lately because I am back in Bakersfield at least temporarily, and I don't think I'm doing anything interesting while I'm here, so I don't record much. Um, I probably should because I feel better when I do. It's depressing to be here. This place is depressing, and it stresses you out. Um, it's wonderful everywhere else, but here it's just a little draining. Um, those that know me know I'm rough on customer service, but I don't think either of these are customer service issues. Uh, I used to go to a Mexican place on the Northeast and I would order a breakfast burrito every Sunday morning. Um, and... I got to the point that the restaurant would know my order from the phone number. So they'd pick up the phone and go, breakfast burrito, no ham, double bacon. It'll be ready for you in 10 to 15 minutes. Cool. And so when I got there, I always tipped uh, to fill the gap up to $10, which is a 2 to $3 tip, depending on, I don't, I don't know. Um, I think it's like a $2 tip. It depends on what their prices were. Um, and I appreciated that level of customer service. Uh, then I took summer off, so nobody knows me. And I didn't expect them to know me when I called. I did not expect them to know me when I called. Um, but I called, placed the order I normally place. I get there, and all of a sudden, the breakfast burrito that's seven and a quarter is over $10. And I went, uh, did you charge me three bucks for double bacon? And she went, no, I charged you two bucks for double bacon. I'm like, it's a substitution for the ham. She goes, no, you're adding stuff, which is the way they do with the fast food places. And I went, oh, okay, well, they used to know my order from the phone number, and you're going to lose a customer over $2 worth of bacon. She didn't care. Um, and the thing that frustrates me there, uh, I know people watch this video and go, oh, you're so picky, you're so obnoxious. We as a society, and maybe this takes me into conspiracy theory realm, we should demand better service. We should not, as customers, be disposable. We should not be looking to gouge each other. If you save the money on the ham, spend the money on the bacon to give the good customer service. So I was really happy with the service before I left on the trip. But when I come back from the trip, all of a sudden it's just, I'm just another customer and now I'm disposable. So if I'm disposable, I'm going to take my business elsewhere, somewhere that I'm not disposable. Talked about that longer than I thought to, so I'm going to break this into two videos. So this one stays at uh, three minutes. But the customer is not, disp I'm not saying the customer is always right, but the customer is not disposable. If you save the money on the ham, don't charge two bucks for the bacon. Ah, where we have come as a people. Talk about the other one in just a minute. Peace.